Виталий. Так, здравствуйте. Uh, с вашего позволения обращусь к онлайн okay. участникам. Hi, let me address online audience of Startup Village. So you can use um, all the tools provided by online conference. To the most, in the most effective manner, you uh, let me give you a few tips. Use a laptop or a computer. You can use a smartphone too, but it's not that convenient. Secondly, make a schedule. Select the sessions that you would like to visit most and make a schedule. And thirdly, Communicate with uh, conference participants and speakers. You can select uh, the speaker in the chat. You can select, you can tick the box, want, I want to interact with a participant, or you can even tick the box if you don't want to communicate with someone. Also share your feedback, your opinion in the comments. Fifthly, uh, look into the Startup Bazaar. It will redirect you to our interactive partners, to over 200 projects and startups, and you can connect with all of them. You can share all possible materials in all possible social media. The, uh, it's up to you to choose which one. Furthermore, we have networking, we have voting, we have feedback uh, sections. So to do that, you will need to register and pay for your participation. Another question, do you know, the next uh, topic is, do you know how to build a casino on an asteroid to create a lab on the bottom of the ocean, launch an intergalax intergalaxy commuter train and other possibilities of virtual uh, game universes? I give the floor to Natalia Alfutova and Yaroslav Kravtsov, the co-founders of Mysterskaya or Workshop 15, uh, who will tell us and show how the matter galaxy is created for uh, having events and corporate events. My name is Natalia Alfutova. This is Maxim Kravtsov here, and we are going to tell you about Meta Galaxy, Meta Universe, and virtual worlds. How that all started, what we would like to tell you. Last year, and basically this year, the COVID-19 pandemic is still ongoing, which resulted in cancellation of uh, mass events, because anyway, it's still acute to find out how people from different continents, from different towns and cities can get together in some space and communicate and interact with each other. Even this time we are in a kind of hybrid format, it combines online and offline events. So thinking about what to do in this situation, we started to think about gaming uh, industry. I'm from the gaming industry, and we found out that it has a series of advantages to Zoom or Skype or other wonderful platforms. Furthermore, those are different types of events. It's quite transparent that a conference on a gaming platform is strange, but an event or a corporate party, um, a party where people can get together, run around, hug each other with their avatars, is quite a nice idea, to be honest. Let me give you a few popular examples. I'm not talking about we about the fact that we're just the only company that decided to employ uh, elements of game or games uh, for communication. Of course, you know the Fortnite concern, where during the concert, 
27 million spectators got together in a game. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine 27 million people getting together offline? And uh, that was followed by uh, another 150 million people watching uh, the uh, record. Another thing is uh, the Cherry Garden play in Minecraft. Minecraft, of course, is uh, also very well known. And when we talk about uh, this uh, square-shaped Ranevska, who, who was uh, um, delivering her speech, the monologue, when I saw that, I I was amazed, I was stunned, and I recommend, if you haven't seen that yet, do watch the play. As for the platforms, we've selected Robux platform, uh, I think that's best for a party or a corporate event. This is the geek uh, picnic event that was held online last year. The party session, the uh, action was created by us, and it was a party where you can get after completing a lot of a lot of quests and trials. You had to do a lot of very funny things in order to get to the party called the island. On the island, you could uh, chill out with the rest of the people and award uh, and win prizes. Another important thing is the virtual festival in the desert. Uh, we can compare it to the Burning Man. It was a corporate party for very nice companies. Which proves that some experience of real time events, of offline events, and the feeling of belonging, this, this vibe uh, that you experience at offline events, actually can be recreated online. What is our platform about? We've uh, studied a lot of platforms. Uh, we studied uh, whether it's possible to create very unusual worlds, to create quests and tasks. Uh, we wanted to make it a nice interactive virtual platform and found out that Minecraft and Fortnite have advantages, but they have a lot of disadvantages. For example, uh, Minecraft is not free of charge. If you want to uh, organize an event for 20,000 people or 50,000 people, it's quite costly to buy a license for each participant. As for Fortnite, uh, you had to download a lot of things, you had to study a lot of things, and it's not quite user-friendly. So Robux is quite a competitor to them. It operates on very weak computers and the cheapest Androids. It's very simple to open. You just open a link. The participants follow a link and uh, uh, find themselves in uh, in the very uh, in the event where they have to be, not in a different event or not in a browser, or not in a website where they have to choose and click multiple times. We've studied the option of creating our own platform, actually. We, we even developed our own solution on Igranet. However, if we compare the complexity and the speed of creating events by using uh, other platforms, it's much more complicated and uh, takes much more time 
as compared to using uh, this very platform. Let us talk briefly about creating such events. What usually happens? There is an idea that we want an event, uh, maybe devoted to some topic. So we um, were basing our solution on the offline events, uh, regular offline events. We invited a creative director uh, who described the laws of an offline event, and we found out that in online it is quite different. The uh, Offline prototype seems to be, turns out to be quite boring. It's going to be just colorless and pale. And answering the question, what is the most interesting about developing 3D worlds, is that it requires a lot of creativity. It is something unique that cannot be. Um, represented in the physical, in the offline world. Yaroslav mentioned people who make amazing ev offline events. Let's say, let's go back to Geek Picnic. A brilliant event manager is organizing everything, doing inst making installations, putting up um, bulbs and everything and so on. And can you imagine that the same approach is taken, but, for example, it is zero gravity. It is all happening in zero gravity. Another example, a company wants to send a couple of thousand of its participants, a couple of thousand of colleagues want to go, uh, will be sent to the Burning Man festival. It's just unthinkable to do it offline. It's a uh, tremendous budget, it's tremendous effort. But we, as media artists, as media creators, have no limits. And we are very happy to recreate a Burning Man in online mode for a couple of thousand people. Let me show you a brief video from the party. Каждый год в пустыню Невада съезжаются много тысяч людей и делают фестиваль Burning Man. Создают арт-объекты, строят лаги, придумывают костюмы. So this is the Burning Man team who is making objects, who is uh, organizing events. Nobody is going to appear in Black Rock Desert this year, but we build the same thing in online mode. So we are dressed up and all together we want to visit the festival. It, that was cool. I could see my colleagues. I could communicate with them, asking, like, why did it take away my fires? No, this is a very cool vibe. I'm here. I'm on the map. Where should I go? I liked it so much. It's definitely a new experience and new emotions. I really adored the race in those huge ballet jupes. I could feel that we were all connected and we were close to each other. That was a very unexpected experience and it was a very magnificent experience. You've just seen a video made in the virtual space. Is it a video, a film, 
a cartoon, something that you can film in virtual worlds. That requires a lot of creativity, but still it needs an operator. I believe that an offline uh, filmmaker will not handle that task in 3D world, so that requires um, specific skills and specific uh, expertise. So that's a kind of uh, the other side of the mirror. Let me show you a couple of more examples, some other worlds that we have created. Look at this game that we created. Uh, for the New Year party, so we played with the scales in that case. I can also tell you a couple of more words about the Burning Man. We needed to recreate a whole city in a desert where millions of people, uh, hundreds of art objects and so on. That was so interesting from the viewpoint of art to create a town. We created a whole world there. It is amazing. We give an opportunity for the participants to create such art object. They could create installations together. It was really interesting. And you didn't need logistics, you didn't need any limit of objects, so you could implement all your ideas. And we had lots of interesting cases, structures. These were amazing projects by participants. Or this railway station, you can see that it is quite ordinary, but still, it is interstellar connection. You don't have any limits, time limits, space limits. We can imagine that we are in the future. So maybe in the future it would be possible to go to different planets using railroads, the way we use them today to go to the regions. This is the city of the future, but here in trains we still have musicians that we have, because it is a pleasant to listen to different music, for example, to Kino band, or this is a planet, it was an amazing planet with underwater cities. They were created in bubbles, different labs, and in these labs, there were some crazy events. If you want to create a separate planet to be it as a planet covered with sand, you can do it. It is possible. Or you can try something industrial. This is for Nornickel company. You can even create these platforms for diamonds. Here it's a casino. It is something usual. You can see Kremlin structures or the Statue of Liberty, but it is without gravity. It is kind of a bubble. So it is amazing. You can create all that you want here. It is built for entertainment, it's not for gambling, so you can have fun and you can spend time feeling like you are in this park with a blackjack. And the most important part, you can meet your friends, your colleagues. We don't have the slide, but we created a special fe feature so you can hug people. It is amazing that you can hug your avatar and you can really feel this friendship. And we do like to give our participants additional opportunities. Sure, you can ride a bicycle here, 
or you can create fireworks so you can create this amazing show we love this I do love this story you can see that there is an office far away this is an office a copy 3d copy from the real office we created first floors and the roof and it is the same that we have in real life it is based on photos so this is an event people were working remotely for four months they were not in the office so you and you are not in the office for four months and then suddenly you have this opportunity you can go to your cafe you can sit together with your colleagues we feel that it was really important and impressive when you are again in your virtual world and you see something familiar for example your office and you need to create means of transport how to actually get access to this building and we have different interesting objects on your way something unusual and when you get to your building there is a party we created a party on the roof it was really amazing we recreated the roof that the original building has and at the end it was firework everybody could create their fireworks and they actually uh, were able to jump from the roof it was not lethal but it was really cool and for us it is an important story it is important when we have this events there is some final step usually we start with the story with the world that we want to create we think about the beginning and the end of the story maybe it can be a dance part there should be some final stage as we have in real life and I would like to share some recommendations that we have for participants I would like to add that it is important that all our guests most part of their guests they're not cobblers it's not the first time that they use virtual reality but they feel that they are even more emotionally collected but we need to take care of them because for them it is really difficult to manage these avatars it should be easy for them we provide different instructions manuals it can be a video or a text or it can be shared via zoom we can organize training session via zoom and there should be a channel for distribution of these manuals to create this interest among possible participants so they install all that they need so they can try it because when we have this one hour event everybody is prepared and they don't have time to read these manuals once we start they should do it in advance and when participant enter this world they need to understand their goal to understand the scenarios of what they need to do in order to achieve the specific goals we shouldn't just create this space this environment so they entertain on their own this is a scenario it can be something for two hours it can be even sometimes for a few weeks anyway we can answer all the questions how to do it what to do there what other activity that available but we need to create different activities for some people it is interesting when you run when you shoot people who are involved in different games they love this but when it's something new for you you are a beginner in this world 
virtual reality, you want something simple. And what we like, we like to collect coins, for example, some objects. And it is easy to understand. You walk inside this platform and you find out different covered spaces and you have different hints how to get access to the spaces. It is amazing. And what is also important, because we use this game platform, usually when we have games, you have your nicknames. And it is difficult to understand who is who. So we want to replace these nicknames with real first name, with real last name, so your colleagues can acknowledge that you are the one who participate. If it is the event that is created for different companies with offices in different countries, they also include the country name or the department name, their nickname. So it is quite simple for them to communicate and to share some information. But anyway, if we compare our activity with the activity of game developers, there are specific differences. It is a different audience, and we have two similarities. You should have this, first of all. You should have a really strong platform to create this game, so it's a high-quality game. We should have professionals, copywriters, developers who can create this unique idea and implement them, these ideas in details. It is a must for this events. It is not a simple process when you try to find out balance, because you want to balance these crazy ideas and technical availability that you have. So you have specific limits and you need to have professionals who can understand what can be realized, what cannot be realized. It's also an emotional part of this event. We have participants, they have great emotions and they participate in something which was impossible before. We have now time for questions. We can share our next slide. Here you can uh, look at our website. Here are our contacts. If you don't have time to ask questions now, you can get access to our company using this information. And we would like to answer the second question. How much time does it take to create this universe? Well, it is great the question because we work on Romax. It makes it simple. Can you please answer this question? Yaroslav. Well, our record was when we created this universe in one week and a half, but please, it's really a mistake that you share this information because we will not try to do it again. But it's about concept because it takes time to create the concept. Uh, before it was one week and a half to create this event, but before it took two weeks to make up this story. It is the main part when we work with our media specialists so they can create this environment. Yes, you can create this universe, but it can be without soul, we can say. So it is important not just to create this universe, but to create different activities in this universe. So now, usually, we feel that it takes two months. Sometimes it can take even more if there is an event for a few days or for a few weeks. There is another question. It's a pleasure to receive it. Uh, well, how do we plan to develop it? We plan to continue our work, to continue with events for our clients. We will have our projects on Roblox, and we are as media specialists. We work with museums. We have one game. It is 
a project with Robux and it is now in museum. The museum is open and this summer we plan to have even more projects so we'll be glad to see you in these museums. All the news you can find using the internet, you can get an access on Facebook, Vkontakte. Thank you for your attention and we hope to see you soon. Bye bye. энергию. Но нахождение вблизи источника тепла позволяет телу получать тепловое излучение. Происходит самопроизвольное перераспределение тепла. Следовательно, когда источники тепла находятся вместе, их энергия побеждает холод. Лучшее создается вместе. Газпромбанк. МТС Стартап Хаб. Работа с реальным бизнес-заказчиком МТС. Доступ к ресурсам самого крупного телеком-бренда в России. Не можешь поверить? А в твой стартап обязательно поверят. У нас есть все, что тебе понадобится. Ресурсы, клиенты, технологии, каналы продаж. Мы оценим твой продукт, правильно применим в своем бизнесе и масштабируем на мировой рынок. МТС Стартап Хаб ждет тебя и твоих нереальных бизнес-идей.